Hi everyone, welcome back to QNIP Live Broadcast. I'm Sam, I'm the host for the topic today. And uh, today we invited our PM Jason here. Hello everyone. Because, yeah, because we are introducing a new uh, recommend type of the NAS. Yes. Which is, uh, which, yeah, let's get into the slide. Mm -hmm. Which the uh, series is TSX73AU. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we, we, every time when we see a U in the model name, we will know that it's a rack mount type. Mm -hmm. And uh, the 73, which means that it's using a AMD core, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And A is the type. Uh, so generation. Yeah, generation. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is the A generation of the AMD Ryzen core rack mount type of the NAS. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what are the features of this type of NAS? First, it is a 8-bay, 12-bay, and 16-bay rack mount type NAS. Mm -hmm. And it can uh, it provides a 4-core and 8-thread of the CPU. And it can boost uh, the, 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 the CPU uh, frequent goes to 2.2 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, not only this, but it equipped with two of the 2.5 gig. Right, yes. the internet connection port, and it has a PCIe slot for you to uh, uh, choose your uh, own expansion card mm -hmm. when you when you want to have a fla more flexibility in your NAS. So, we will have the several introduction. First is we will give you a reason that why we have this type of NAS, and then we will give you the introduction of the hardware. Then uh, I will int introduce the, the software that can work on this NAS and why you will need this kind of software. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jason, please start. Okay. So uh, let me begin by about the research by the IDC that, made, that was made in uh, April this year. So during the COVID-19 process, mm -hmm. uh, uh, actually a crisis, so many countries and organizations have been affected. And uh, they done a research to show that uh, uh, actually the IT spending in many uh, regions will have a decrease uh, as, li as much as 2.7%. Uh, mm. uh, especially they, uh, it shows that uh, in some industries such as uh, in the hospitality, mm -hmm. such as hotels and uh, uh, tourism industries, uh, transportation, they were a bit, they will be affected more by as much as five percent in the IT spending mm. because uh, they are recovering, you know, from this uh, great hit. Uh, so it becomes more important in this year is uh, how uh, your organization can spend uh, your budget more carefully mm -hmm. by choosing the right products. Okay, and uh, you will also be faced. Uh, you also face another challenge is uh, that there are more and more connected devices and the users in your environment because uh, now you have uh, not just the computers but also the laptops, mm -hmm. uh, tablets, mm -hmm. uh, mobile, mobile phones and uh, even some uh, wearables. So there are more and more devices in your location mm -hmm. that can possibly cause uh, network congestion if you do not increase your network performance yes. and then also there are some more and more people work remotely work from home and they try to connect to your business with the VPN connection so it is it's also important to make sure your internal traffic can handle such great uh, uh, bandwidth from various connected devices okay yes. yeah so uh, how can you uh, increase your then what bandwidth in your organization, the easiest way is to upgrade your switch. So if you are still uh, stuck in, with the one gigabit switch, now it is time to upgrade. QNAP actually has launched several 10 gigabit switches that can support a multi-speed. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, there is the 12 bay, uh, sorry, 12 uh, port switch and the four port switch and even a uh, eight port switch with either unmanaged or managed and uh, you can choose how many ports of the uh, RG45 the combo ports you want to have in your organization depending on the devices you have mm -hmm. and the great benefit with the 2.5 gig and the 5 gig compared to 10 gig is that uh, most likely about I would say 99% uh, 
uh, chance that uh, in your building you don't have to upgrade uh, your cable wiring yes. uh, that can already support the 2.5 gig and 5 gig mm -hmm. so uh, it is a good opportunity for business to upgrade to 2.5 gig and beyond with the brand new switches and uh, client devices and uh, not to mention that the QNAP uh, is uh, targeting this kind of a segment so uh, next quarter we are going to launch the 5 port 2.5 gig uh, our manager switch with, uh, which is a top one QSW1105 5T so it is a fanless design and with a metal housing that means that uh, you can place anywhere on your desk in your office that still does not uh, bother your work okay because there's no noise from it so this is how you can um, bring up your current network to a higher speed with uh, various switches of course QNAP also has uh, many uh, PCIe adapters with 5 gig and the 10 gig that you can install to your desktop and the servers to get higher speed mm -hmm. we also have a USB based uh, the Q&A that can uh, let you connect to your laptop or even your other NAS to support uh, 2.5 gig and up to 5 gig speed with our mm -hmm. accessories okay so when you have all the uh, infrastructure, infrastructure upgraded then you will need your storage also to be able to support and sustain this mm -hmm. such a higher speed and uh, that's why QNAP is launching a brand new 73 AU series with a much better processor to uh, handle your uh, heavier heavier traffic mm -hmm. so you will see that uh, it is a uh, 73 AU is really a good value because uh, you know if you look at this uh, CPU chart uh, current uh, QNAP 63 XU series is using the entry level AMD G series processors quad core uh, 2.0 gigahertz and the 70U series is using the one step up the R series and uh, if you look at our 70, uh, CPU used in the 73 AU series actually is two steps up from the current 72 series so uh, in later chapters I will also show you why uh, we choose this one and uh, how the performance and the uh, various hardware features and software features are greatly enhanced so this year because of the reduced IT budget spending uh, it is becomes very important for you to choose a very cost effective NAS and with the right choice mm -hmm. okay so this is why we are bringing you the brand new 73 AU series with the embedded Ryzen process processor okay so let's begin with the hardware overview of the 73 AU series uh, first uh, of all let's check the comparison against the CPU architecture so on the left hand side is a 70 brand new 73 AU series on the right hand side would be the 70U series uh, 73 AU series is processor with a V1500B mm -hmm. and uh, quad core but uh, with the thread you see that uh, it now double the threads so 8 threads is here okay 8 threads compared to the 4 threads only in the 70U series mm -hmm. and uh, the best frequency is 100 megahertz higher than the 73U so 2.2 gigahertz compared to 2.1 mm -hmm. uh, let's not boost frequency it is fixed at 2.2 gigahertz okay however uh, don't understand don't understand the 100 megahertz difference you will see that uh, the performance difference is not just 100 megahertz that little percentage mm -hmm. okay and uh, there's also a new addition of the L3 cache with 4 megabyte mm -hmm. so it can certainly enhance your file I.O. and uh, performance with this additional L3 4 megabyte cache mm -hmm. and uh, it is now more energy efficient with a maximum only 25 watts compared to the 35 watts uh, on the previous uh, processor okay and the CPU, CPU architecture is a brand new we all know familiar about this Zen architecture okay 40 nanometer right now with this uh, uh, gen, Zen generation and uh, the previous one is uh, a few technologies older okay so that is why we are bringing you the brand new 73 AU series with this new processor mm -hmm. okay now the front view is a uh, simple just like our other NAS so we have a 8 bay 12 bay and 16 bay 
uh, each can support uh, the different numbers of uh, SATA hard drives and SSDs. And uh, on the front, there's a power button plus a few LED indicators to show you the system status, the hard drive status, uh, the network status, and also if the uh, uh, expansion unit is being connected. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, the memory is the same. Uh, the maximum memory is 64 gigabyte between the 73AU and 73U. And uh, we, uh, the 73AU, there are two memory slots, DDR4UD. Mm -hmm. You can uh, upgrade the memory to a maximum 64 gigabyte, okay, mm -hmm. with dual memory slots. And uh, QNAVA also sell additional memory modules for you to upgrade later. So with the 73AU skills, we have uh, several different ones. Uh, for example, with the A-Bay, you have a choice of single power and the redundant power options. Mm -hmm. And uh, either one is equipped with a 4 gigabyte memory. Okay. For the 12-Bay and 16-Bay, uh, they all come with a redundant power supply. And uh, either with a 8 gigabyte memory for the 12-Bay or the 16 gigabyte for the 16-Bay mm -hmm. model. Okay. So this is, these are the four skills that uh, we are launching uh, in the next quarter for you to choose from. Okay. Now to install the disk drives it is also very easy. So uh, all the models are shipped with a metal based uh, disk trays and uh, you just need a screwdriver to install the 3.5 inch and the 2.5 inch drives. Okay. So it's very easy to install them. And uh, on the rear side here you see is a uh, Okay, starting from the left, uh, there are PCI slots. So depending on the model you get, uh, if you are buying an A bay model, it comes with uh, two PCI slots. If you come, if you buy with a 12 bay and 16 model, comes with oh sorry, with A bay comes with one PCI slot with a Gen 3 by 8. Mm -hmm. uh, for a 12 bay and the 16 bay comes with uh, two of the PCI Gen 3 by 4 slots. But uh, you can change them around uh, if you want the more slots or uh, one slot with higher performance by purchasing and installing additional accessory from QNAP to change the PCI slot configuration. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, in the middle you will see two of the built-in 2.5 gig uh, multi gig uh, LAN ports, so it can they can support the 2.5 gig and one gig speed, and uh, below. The LAN ports are USB ports. This is also a major upgrade. With the new generation, we have uh, included both the Type C and Type A ports. And you will see that uh, the dual Type C is a USB 3.2 Gen 2, 10 gigabit per second. Mm -hmm. And why are we including the Type C, high speed Type C, is that uh, you will see that uh, more and more. USB drive makers they come out with a Type C based SSDs, external SSD with a Type C connection. Mm -hmm. So if you want the really fast uh, USB drive data backup, then you can install those uh, Type C based external SSDs and then do a data exchange. Uh, I think uh, they uh, usually can re they usually can reach about nine hundred fifty or one thousand megabyte per second with the USB Type C. Okay. And uh, with uh, two USB Type A, one of them is a uh, 3.2 Gen 2 10 gig, and the other one is a uh, USB 3.2 Gen 1 5 gig. So this can allow you to support uh, the the regular USB drive or UPS or even a keyboard mouse for other applications. And for power supply, uh, for the redundant powers, they come with uh, uh, redundant power supplies mm -hmm. that. Uh, you can use them for an extra layer of a power protection. Mm -hmm. And a bay has a single power module that uh, you can use if you want the uh, cost saving. Okay, so these are the uh, rear panel configurations for from these devices. Okay, now for the 2.5 gig, they are independent uh, LAN ICs we are building into the motherboards. Mm -hmm. So independent LAN ICs means uh, uh, it does not uh, when you are doing the network transfer it does not uh, cost consume as much CPU resources as the integrated ones okay mm -hmm. so also means uh, got a better signal 
for more users to connect via TCP and TD, UTP protocols. Okay. Now, uh, the iSCSI with a 2.5 gig is another application that uh, you can use it to extend your server capacity mm -hmm. because uh, you may have an older server with a limited capacity and to expand it the easiest way may be using the iSCSI connection and 2.5 gigs is already actually uh, good enough just like a local drive mm -hmm. so you can use it like that and uh, PCI expansion slot is also good um, for you to expand your future business applications whether you want a higher speed or you want a SD cache you mm -hmm. can use that okay so let's take a look at uh, how the performance will be with 2.5 gig uh, you will see that uh, when I test it with a Windows file transfer with a Windows uh, file explorer drag and drop mm -hmm. uh, with a 10, gigabit, 10 gigabyte file it can reach uh, about uh, 372 megabyte per second okay so this is the performance is already more than two two times higher than the gigabit uh, NAS okay and what if you want to bound the two LAN ports together and you can achieve also the double the speed so here I have uh, used the uh, two LAN ports two of the 2.5 gig and then using the IO meter to test it with a one megabyte file size to test the performance you will see that uh, about 540 megabyte per second okay for this uh, configuration okay in the RAID 5 with 12 bay so this already quite good uh, for many business uh, applications if you are looking for affordable NAS with the higher performance okay now uh, we have a uh, one or two PCI slots on the 73 AU series so QNAP actually provides many uh, P PCIe based uh, network cards that you can install and uh, connect it to give you more ports so we have a uh, 5 gig network cards in 1 port, 2 port and 4 ports and also the 10 gig in 1 port and 2 ports and also in different interfaces so these are various uh, network cards from QNAP that you can install them onto the NAS and then give you more flexible flexibility in the network speed and uh, uh, factor okay now uh, if you install a 2 port 10 gig what will the performance be like okay so these are the performance test with a single 10 gigabit uh, Windows file transfer so if you look at this the 73 AU the 12 bay model is actually in the right speed is uh, almost 50% faster than mm -hmm. the 12 bay 70 12 73 U model okay so this this is actually a very good uh, performance increase compared to the 73U okay so from you will see that uh, from 662 to the 906 megabyte per second now if you have a dual 10 gigabit these are the performance numbers you will expect here so for example uh, this is a 73AU uh, compared to a 73U also uh, combine the dual 10 gigabit ports you will reach also in the right speed 50% faster than the 73U series okay now uh, with the right speed both can uh, perform at uh, 2000 megabyte per second so this is a very good uh, deal if you are looking for a high performing NAS mm -hmm. okay now uh, what if you are dealing with a database and the small file transfers then you can add uh, SSD cache or even a QNAP QT to enhance the performance now to add the M.2 SSDs you can uh, consider the QNAP QM2 adapters so actually we have uh, more models than the ones we show here just go to our website uh, listing and you can see more models but here I show you the, some of the PCIe Gen 3 uh, QM2 cards on the top so you can eat, add either two or four of the M.2 NVMe uh, SSDs to the NAS and uh, set up SSD cache okay now if you want a, a QM2 card with both 10 gig and uh, M.2 SSDs then you can consider the combo version of the QM2 cards to give you uh, more options here okay now uh, another area for a more enterprise site is a fiber channel now uh, in the 73U the, the 
the current uh, setting 70U, it cannot support a fiber channel. But this brand new generation, thanks to the improved uh, processor, it can now support the fiber channel. Okay, so with this uh, fiber channel, it is a good uh, 16 gig fiber channel candidate if you want to uh, add more storage to your fiber channel SAN. Okay, so basically you will purchase, you need to purchase a QNAP, the QXP 16G 2FC adapter, which is a dual port mm. card. Install it onto the NAS, and then you can add this NAS to your existing fiber channel SAN network. And then you can have your host with the various uh, connector to connect to our NAS and add the storage. Okay, so combining the NAS with the fiber channel adapter, uh, the total package will be much more affordable than buying the traditional fiber channel SAN storage. Okay, and then save you a much uh, budget. Okay, so this is a fiber channel application. Uh, you can check with the 73 AU series. Mm. Now, QNAP also offers many uh, accessories to go with the 73 AU series. For example, the rail kit. Uh, if you want to put it on the rack, then you'll need to purchase the rail kit. Uh, the rail B02 is the one for all the three bays. Okay, 12 bay, uh, sorry, 8 bay, 12 bay, and 16, 16 bay all use the rail B02. And then, uh, if you want to install 2.5 inch SATA hard drives, then we also offer the QDA A2AR, gives you a more hardware based RAID 1 protection. So, when, with, I mean, without that, if you install 12 SSDs, mm -hmm. and if one of the SSD fails, you have to replace it right away. Otherwise, if you more fail, then you have to, you will lose your data. But the, with this QDA A2AR, you can install multiple SSDs and don't hurt don't have to replace the SSD at the first time, you know, when it fails. You can wait until uh, you have a new one and then replace it because uh, there's a very one protection. You know, QTS, we still see that the SSD is still there. And to expand the capacity, QNAP offers many different uh, cap uh, expansion enclosures with different uh, connecting interfaces. There's a USB, there's a PCI to SATA, and then also a SAS J bar. So it depends on the capacity, speed, and the budget you want to spend to expand the capacity of this NAS. Then there are many to choose from. And uh, for the uh, expansion units, we have recently launched the TLO and uh, also the earlier TR. So TLO is the software rate, the J bar. TR is a hardware rate, uh, rate expansion unit. So with both of these kind of different types of the expansion units we offer utility for windows and the mac and even ubuntu linux so we call it external rate manager or jba manager for you to monitor the jba status and also the hard drive health and uh, there are actually many different technologies like i just mentioned different speed mm -hmm. and then uh, different uh, number of base for you to choose from so the expansion um, opportunities are there okay and many okay now, when you connect the expansion unit to the NAS, what can you do? There are several usages. Uh, take example, the usage one. Uh, you will configure the volume and the pool. It's XRB a st standalone storage pool on the expansion unit itself. But our applications such as uh, QSearch, QFile, they can use the new space and then uh, perform their required data process. Now. If you want to use a snapshot, you can also use the expansion unit as a backup destination to perform your snapshot and make it as a backup destination and recover. Okay. Now, if you want to exchange the data with the Windows platform, mm -hmm. you can also configure the J bar as a external drive mode. So you can exchange the data between our NAS and the Windows or Ubuntu platform. Okay. So there are different modes and different usage. Uh, methods that you can choose. Okay, uh, so that's about the hardware overview. How about let's t take a look at the actual device itself of and course. then do a performance test. Okay, so here I have a prepared uh, 16 bay 1673 AU model here. So on the front uh, there's a hard drive trace and then also the button and the LED lights. Let's check the rear area. Sorry. 
Okay, uh, so here there are two redundant power supplies here, mm -hmm. the 550 watts. And then in the middle, the I.O. ports, LAN ports, and the USB ports. Uh, here on the other side is the two PCI Gen 3 by 4 slots. And now I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the memory and also change the PCI slots, okay? Uh, first, you want to remove the uh, drive screws, uh, two on the back, two on the back here, and then two on the sides. Once you remove it, you can take it out. And then you have immediate access to the memory slots here. See that? Okay, so one is installed and another one is available. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, for the PCI slots, you see here there are two. So we use the Riser Car Plus Max technology to make it the dual PCI slots. Yeah. Now, when you in the future, when you want to change to a one PCI Gen 3 by 8 configuration, you can simply just remove this riser card mm -hmm. and then uh, remove uh, by additional the bracket accessory and then change it to a one a single PCIe slot configuration. That way you can uh, upgrade it. Mm -hmm. Likewise, if you are if you today if you buy a A bay model, then you can uh, buy this riser card and the bracket as a, as a another optional accessory and then change it to a two PCI slot configuration from the single one. Okay. So that's about the memory and the, the PCI slot. So let's switch to the computer view. Uh, here I have prepared a 12 bay NAS here, TS1273 AU, and then I have set up 12 SATA SSDs, configure them as a RAID 5 single volume. And uh, let's check the network uh, configuration here. So in the network configuration, uh, I have uh, two of the building 2.5 gig ports, and I have also installed a two port 10 gig adapter into this NAS. Okay. Now I'm going to test the performance. Let's try a single 10 gigabyte. So I'm gonna try to uh, upload a 10 gigabyte file to the NAS and uh, with uh, the 10 gigabit port. Let's check the performance. So you'll see that uh, the upload performance is about uh, more than 700 megabyte per second. So it really can uh, it makes your uh, file transfer much faster with the 10 gigabyte. 10 gigabit port. Now let's try the download speed. It should be similar or even faster. Let's check. Okay, so I'm downloading the same 10 gigabyte file with the 10G port. You will see that uh, it's uh, almost 9,000 mega, uh, 10, 10, uh, 1,000 megabyte per, per second. Okay, so 10 gigabit speed. So let's finish the single 10 gigabit port. How about let's try the dual 10 gigabit ports. Now I have the IO meter set up as a 10 gigabit. Let's try to test the performance. Let's try to uh, uh, read performance first. Okay. Now it's gonna uh, warm up for a few seconds. Let's try to wait. Then it will begin to run the test. So you will see that uh, with a uh, dual port 10 gigabit uh, in bounding speed, uh, you will get uh, over 2,000 megabyte per second in the read performance. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let me try to uh, before I show before I show the 10 gigabit in write. Uh, let's try to uh, boost the NAS performance first. So tune up of QTS 4.4.2 offers a very great UI that uh, we also have a, a very unique uh, tools that in a sense they let you uh, know the NAS test right away. For example, how many applications are using your memories and CPU usage, and then uh, also you can also drag and drop the different uh, small windows to help you know the status right away. Okay. Now let's try to test the performance in write. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna test the write performance. So let's wait for it to warm up. Okay. Okay. So the write performance is also uh, over ten thousand. Uh, 1000 megabyte per second with uh, this uh, configuration. Okay. All right. 
So I finish our performance demo here. So let's uh, go back to our PowerPoint, and then uh, Sam is going to introduce the QTS 4.4 features they can use for your business 4.4.2 yeah well after finishing the introduction of the hardware then uh, let's get into the software well no matter who you are and why you want to choose a NAS well the most important thing is a NAS can help you to save all of your data file in a safe way mm -hmm. so uh, a safe way means you need to block some attack from the outside then you need to prevent and you need to restore some damage or some accidentally uh, data loss from the inside. Well, can we, we can start, uh, start from the outside. That is hackers and the virus. So we can check the left hand side of the slice. We have a security counselor and we have malware remover. We have McAfee and Clam AV. Well, uh, you can use four of these applications and the softwares to prevent any attack from the outside to your NAS by using the security counselor that is just like an operator. It can give you different levels of your security. Then by choosing the different level of the security uh, items, icons, then the security counselor will provide you um, configuration suggestions then you just need to confirm if the suggestions is just what you need then you can apply all the configurations at once and then you can also do the uh, detail adjustment by yourself in different of the level of the security mm -hmm. okay then let's talk about how you can prevent the data loss and attacks from the inside well let's just say if somebody just accidentally delete your important file and uh, you just happen to took a snapshot several days or hours ago then you can have all the data file back a snapshot is like you can make a footage or a uh, slight memory at this moment you take the snapshot and after days or hours or week or month go by and if you need something from this moment then you can go to the footage go to the snapshot and then check the data file the version or the existed data file inside of your NAS, then you can take the file back. And for this NAS, you can have total 1,024 snapshots in one whole NAS, and you can have 256 of the snapshots in each LAN or each volume. So let's say you have four LANs, then you can take, uh, then you want to take one snapshot each day, then you can have like, how, how, so like years. more than no, no, more than eight months of the snapshot oh. and if you want to take one snapshot in two days then you can have more than one year okay so that is the concept of mm -hmm. the snapshots then let's talk about something else while using the NAS then definitely you will use your your computer your tablet and your cell phone for your computer if you are using a, uh, a Mac well we all know that Mac has a building time machine to mm -hmm give you a, a data file restore and uh, if you have too many time machines that is a consumption of your of your max uh, storage capacity so once you have set your Mac with our NAS by our free application that is called hybrid backup sync 3 we, call, we also call it HBS then you just have to make a connection at the first time then every time you, you, you put your NAS and your computer on the same internet environment and when you charge your computer, your Mac will automatically upload the, the latest or the, the time machines hasn't been uploaded into the NAS, into your NAS. So uh, uh, you don't have to do it manually, you just let it happen automatically when you are charging your computer. Mm -hmm. And somebody might say that, okay, I don't want to have so much so many different versions of the backups inside of my NAS because I just want to have this NAS to put the, the file that I will use or for one department that they can upload and download things every day. Mm -hmm. So you can have another like TL expansion unit to store all your backups inside of the expansion unit. So every day you can upload your time machine into your NAS and your NAS will automatically put the things into your expansion unit. So when you need something really important, you can just connect to your expansion unit and take everything back. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the hybrid backup sync, 
that the function of it is not just that simple to, to, to give you a, a automatically update, uh, upload of your backups. It has a lot of different functions, no matter your data file sync or the, the backup to restore or to compress. Well, we have our ex exclusive uh, file format is at the right hand side. The QDFF file is our own format. Well, you can use the hybrid backup sync to compress your file into a QDFF. Then you can use a USB or you can upload to the cloud or you can just attach it in any mouse and send to other people. Mm -hmm. Then they just have to use a QDTube extract tool, which is also developed by QNAP. So they can check, can preview, and they can decide if they want to uh, uncompress the file back. Yeah. And of course, we have something else, like if you are running your, because that is a rec mount type, so uh, mostly uh, all the enterprise will use this one. So for the MIT guy or the, the, the RD guy, you might have to run your virtualized, virtualized machine on this NAS. So uh, we can do data protection for your data file through the snapshot. Mm -hmm. And we also can do something to protect your VM through our hyper data protector. That is a free app. So yeah, that is a license, license free app that you can download on our uh, app store then you can use it to give your VM different uh, versions of the backups. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. While you are doing the backups of your VM, the, v the data file will only getting bigger and bigger. So uh, at this moment, you will need uh, a bandwidth that is more bigger than what you have been used. So uh, if you are just having a one gig uh, bandwidth of the internet connection, then that will definitely be not enough when you are having more and more VMs to pick up every day. So I would suggest you to change to a 2.5 gig, which doesn't really cost you anything mm -hmm. because your current internet cable might provide you the function, uh, provides you the bandwidth. Okay. <coughs> then when we store more and more data files inside of our NAS, you, m you, 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 you probably don't remember where you put what kind of files you need. So we have our QSearch. QSearch, the advantages of this one is that you can use different of the platform. Like you can, you can log into your NAS and use the QSearch on your cell phone, your computer, your tablet. And then if you are a Mac user, once you have mount your NAS onto your Mac, you can even use the Mac Finder to find the data files inside of your NAS. And if you are a Google Chrome or Firefox user, you can download the plugins of these two then whenever you are searching in your Chrome or your Firefox, the search result of your NAS will automatically show up at the right hand side of your screen. And you can try to use different filters by the metadata of your, uh, your pictures, your videos, by the resolution or by the length or by the file size, even by color and by the, the, the brand of the, the, the camera you are taking the picture. Mm -hmm. And for the uh, paperwork, you can also use the uh, keyword as a search key. So it is very convenient and you can even preview the data file before you decided to download it. Yeah. And if you want to have a multiple uh, concurrent collaboration of one file paperwork, you can use our node station 3 for all the 14 functions that you can see on the bottom of this page. Is, uh, those are what you can do with our node station with multiple people editing one same file. Okay, so that is our node station free. It's a free app that you can download on, Q, on our uh, QNAP app store. Then, with our uh, file station, the most important one because this is like a folder in the folder that you can try to find everything inside of your NAS. The file station now can provide you function that to edit with Office Online and you can view the Google Docs and you can open with your Google Chrome extension so you can check the formats on the second column second line of the column which is highlighted in gray so these are all the formats that we can support and uh, you just need to have your cloud link 
and then you can do file collaboration and you can preview your document you can uh, convert to you can convert to Google Docs for like editing or saving your Google Drive this this is really convenient okay so now you can do more with one QNAP NAS and the QMAG okay the QMAG it is a new app that we can help you to automatically sort the, the, the pictures that you upload into your NAS like we can give you a people sorting like his face and my face will be automatically sorted inside of uh, into different folders then of course you can manually to edit the, the the pictures into another correct folder and it will help you to sort your uh, pictures into different topic like this is the topic of mountain this is a topic of ocean or 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 a beach or something like that or food dog cats it can help you to sort your files into uh, your pictures into different folder okay this is one of our functions then this one is really really important because this machine has a PCI slot so you can uh, use your own expansion GPU card so that you can enable the GPU pass through well this card th with the GPU card you can uh, output the, H uh, the, the video and audio through the HDMI port mm. then you can use the GPU pass through function to enable and uh, enhance the speed and the efficient for your video transcoding and what can the GPU do for you like okay first if you want to uh, link to your DLNA uh, smart device you can download our Qmedia and use the function with your smart TV Apple TV Chromecast mm -hmm. TV or even Roku so all this mentioned uh, the, uh, the software and hardware can be used with our QNAP NAS yeah. but if you are running a virtualization station and you have your own virtualized machine then you will definitely need the GPU pass through why? because for each of the VM that is a consumption of the processor and the storage capacity and of course the RAM so when your capacity is not enough for you to have more and more VM then that's the timing you need a GPU card and by the GPU pass through it will give you a very uh, functional help that you can have a better experience while the GPU pass through is providing more computing uh, power mm. okay yeah. and if you are running a, a docker hub a docker or the X, uh, LXC on our container station you will also definitely need another GPU card with the pass-through function to give you a better power of the computing mm. then to have a better experience while doing your own development with our container station or with our virtualization mm. okay yes yeah then we have something new is the first one is called hybrid mount considering that you might have another third party uh, cloud storage devices or the services so uh, you will need you will need to mount all your different service inside of our NAS so you just need one interface and then you can control all your different NAS like your Google Cloud your Amazon Cloud your other any other clouds you just need to mount their gateway into our NAS then you can use our file station to control the file dragging copying or something else uploading downloading in our file station mm -hmm. and of course when you mount your third-party cloud into our NAS we can check on the button of the right hand side of this call this chart you can see that we can support you to use QMAG QSearch <coughs> I'm sorry Music station, music yeah, stations. music station and other video stations. That all the functions are supported mm. with our uh, hybrid mount. And of course, if you want to, if you are running a business and you have confidential data file, mm. then VJ Bar Cloud will definitely be another option for you. Well, the VJ Bar Cloud can support you to upload your single file into a scattered jigsaw. So. Uh, imagine that you have one file to upload and then the VJB cloud can help you to scatter all the files in, into pieces and pieces so if the file is confidential file and if someone and they, they, they try to steal your data file when you are doing the, 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 the uh, tr uploading mm -hmm. they just get one jigsaw of the whole file so 
they cannot define what the file is. So this will provide you a higher uh, safety level when you are trying to upload your data file from your NAS into other thermal cloud. Yeah. Then uh, we mentioned the VJBug cloud, so uh, we just need to go back to see another exclusive function. It's called VJBug. VJBug is virtual JBug. So imagine that for this X73AU, that is a X86 structure of the NAS. And if you find that you are running out of the storage capacity, then you happen to have another QNET NAS, and they have free space. Then you can, through the internet connection, use the iSCSI protocol. Then you can take the free capacity from other NAS to your main NAS. And uh, when you're trying to do the uploading, downloading, you, you also just need to log into your main NAS. And when they are trying to do the data file connection, they will automatically go to other NAS that has been connected as a VJ bot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of the NAS can have maximum eight VJ bot connections. So if you have more NAS, then you will have more space. And of course, uh, this is one of our late, uh, new function that launched next uh, last year, end of last year is is uh, box safe. It's called box safe. Mm -hmm. That is a backup backup solution for your G Suite and your Office 365. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very easy and very simple. When you open that, then you can use that. And another function is that we can provide you to help your to help you to change your NAS into a MVR. So we have the QVR Pro, that is a free uh, application. And it can support up to five, uh, 5,000, more than 5,800 IP cameras in the market. Then when you purchase this NAS, we can give, we already give you eight free channels. And if you need more, you can go to our online store and purchase more. Then you can use your cell phone, your tablet, or your computer to download the QVR Pro client. Then you can turn your NAS into a surveillance central management system. Of course, you need to have a HDMI output if you are using your NAS as a CMS. So, whenever you purchase this NAS, we have a three-year standard warranty. Mm -hmm. But if you need a full warranty up to five years, I will suggest you to purchase the extension warranty within the 90 days you purchase your NAS. Then you can go to our extension warranty website, then purchase the green, sorry, the, is that green? Brown. Orange. Uh, brown. Brown and the red. Uh, brown, and <laughs> brown and red for another uh, two year extension mm -hmm. warranty. So, what's the difference between brown and, uh, sorry, brown, is that brown? Yeah, uh, brown and what's red. What's the difference between brown and red? We can check the different bay quantity of the, the NAS. For 8 bay and 12 bay, please purchase the brown one. Mm -hmm. For 16 bay, please purchase the red one. Okay, so yeah. this will give you five years of the full warranty. So if you want to know more about why should you have why you should have an extension warranty, you can use the extension warranty as a keyword to search the video in our YouTube channel, then you will see that a full introduction of the video that is hosted by me and Benson and David will be the the, 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 the PM to introduce this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is all that we want to provide to you as a TSX 73AU NAS. Uh, we can do a simple recap. 8 bay, 12 bay, 16 bay yeah, yes. with two of the 2.5 gig na uh, mm -hmm. in but internet ports, ports yeah. mm -hmm. and with one PCIe expansion slot. Mm -hmm. One or two, depends on models. Yes, mm -hmm. and then it has a AMD Ryzen core, mm -hmm. four core, eight threads, two point two gigahertz. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that is Very what good. we providing to you, and uh, we hope you like our video. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to know more about our machine, please go to our YouTube channel and search for more. And if uh, when will this NAS be available in the market? Uh, Q three should be available worldwide. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's pretty soon. So if you want to upgrade your system, you can wait for a little bit more. And if you really like this one, please contact your domestic reseller or your uh, distributor. Mm. So when they have this machine, they will give you a call. Okay, so if so, we will see you next time on Kinala Podcast. Bye. Bye-bye.